welcome to the quantity serving studio so hope everyone is doing good having a great professional life great personal life if you have not yet subscribed to quantity serving studio please do subscribe for quantity serving related videos so as you can see on the screen i've opened uh, excel an excel tab so this is going to be a video about one excel tip or a command or something that will be useful for you as a quantity surveyor or anyone who is into any profession in any industry they can utilize this command or this tip in their profession which could be very helpful without any further delay let's move into the video the command that i'm talking to you is about get data so if you see here in the excel if you go to data you can see here something called get data so basic use of this is to get data from any different types of files it could be pdf it could be websites it could be word so any kind of files where you would have seen lot of tables so that you could convert it into excel so that you could utilize that table to do your different works your analysis for example i have opened a pdf here so this pdf i have opened you can see here this is a table here in this pdf i want this to be converted into excel so there are different websites where you can do a conversion from pdf to excel but sometimes that won't be perfect or it will not be converted successfully there could be lot of errors there won't, might be formatting errors so in all that case this could be very useful so for example if i want to convert that pdf table into excel you can go to get data click on from file then from pdf you can select the data wherever it is say i mean to select the file so i've saved in the desktop so it will take some time to convert it into excel if there are lot of rows lot of columns it might take a bit more time so now here if you see it has two tables have been converted so it is almost the same just there is some additional columns so let's take maybe we'll take this column i mean this table so after that we just need to do click on transform data so basic function of that is when you click on transform data something like this will open up a new table this is like a query power query where you can you know do some corrections in the table sometimes the table there might be some unnecessary rows columns so for doing that rectifications you can use this query editor so it's here it is called power query editor so when you click that transform button it will come here for example i just don't need these first five rows because it starts from the this is the main headings of the columns so you can just click on remove rows remove top row so i need 1 2 3 4 5 so i don't need the five rows so i'll click on remove rows and number of rows the last how many rows is not required we'll click on five click on okay so here see the top five rows has been deleted and again if you want to change the name of this you can do that three place value or something like that the chain want to change the column names any other things you can do here so now it looks like kind of okay so if it's fine just go to close and load click close and load to uh, new worksheet is there we'll click existing worksheet we are already opened an excel so we'll click here a1 if you want some other to start the table to start in some other cell you can click that cell so we'll click on a1 itself click on okay so here you see the table has come you can do your analysis you can make your reports easily now let's also see how you can get tables from website so i just opened a new sheet so again uh, i've opened a for example this is one website about world population to see here there are a lot of tables here so i'll use this website so i'll just click just copy it here go to again data get data now go to from other sources then from web click on that it will ask the url click copy paste the url click on okay so again it is searching through the entire website for all the tables if there are a lot of tables it will take again some time so i think in this website there were there were like lot of tables so it is just processing it 
so let's wait so after waiting some time see a lot of tables has been populated so whichever table is useful for us we can use that so let's take this table where it is showing here population not much of use let's see if there is some country wise ah, see this we can take this country's ranking high highly populated so let's use that again we can click on transform data so if you here we can do our editing whatever like rows or columns we don't require we can delete it from here again we can close and load to existing sheet okay so the table has come up so hope this uh, excel video has been useful i believe that most of you would not have an idea about this and this would be relatively new for you so thanks a lot for this watching this video take care bye